Guess who issued another resin challenge? <laughs> Our wonderful Aishu has said, well, now that you've done Minions, what about Mickey Mouse? So I went to my uh, brain bank, slept on it, and an idea finally occurred to me. And it was to use wire to create the head. Um, so I'm not gonna do the body, I'm just gonna do the head of Mickey Mouse. So I went and printed it out, obviously. Went to the store and got myself some wire. I actually got this at Michael's, but I'm sure you can buy it at the hardware store too. So this is an 18 gauge aluminum wire. And I pulled a whole bunch off the spool and I used this as my template. And then I got into it and I was like, shoot, I'm not even recording this. Um, so I had that done and then a general shape. And I was like, okay, I think I've got a long enough wire and then I snipped it. And that's where we're at. <laughs> And now I'm wondering how I'm gonna be able to get these edges together. I think the general shape is pretty good, right, for Mickey? Now I was gonna do them with the head tilted same way, but as I was shaping it out, it just, it kind of looks funny. So I think I'm going to leave it as if it was face on versus Mickey tilting his head, doing the head tilt. So I'm thinking maybe I'll use some, um, I've got a choice. I guess I could use UV resin to stick it together and that might be the fastest option. I was also thinking just, you know, even regular glue. So I'm gonna pull out my UV resin. I'm gonna grab my nail machine. Let's put a drop of this stuff. Ooh, that looks like, looks like I had a little leakage. far enough. Yeah, that's pretty good. So there's my basic Mickey shape. Now I need a heart. Now I need a heart. I need to be able to attach that to the sides. Ay. Ay. All right. Stretch this out again. Maybe I can use it for something else. All right, that should be plenty. We are now heading into super speedy mode, but you'll still get the idea as to what I'm doing here. Also, as the video progresses, um, I cut out a lot of that time spent under the UV lamp to cure the resin, but you'll see.
So I found this perfect little wooden board at Michael's and I used Kills paint and primer in a spray can to just prime it. And now I'm gonna use my glue gun to glue Mickey's form to the wooden base. And you'll notice that I'm working from the outside in with the forms and I'll be working with the resin. When I put the resin inside, I'll be working from the inside towards the outside. So the glue is always on the outside of the form. And then as I fill it up with resin, I then peel off the glue from the outside before proceeding to the next outer layer. Peeling the glue off was, was definitely a challenge, as you'll see. Um, and I was using a like a scalpel, a, a little knife, and all I kept thinking doing while I was doing this is, don't do a don't do a Louise, don't do a Louise, don't cut yourself. So um, yeah, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Louise McKay. She sliced her finger open, um, trying to cut something uh, away from one of her beautiful bloom pieces. <laughs> so that's what I was saying to myself before discovering that the needle nose pliers worked the best for getting the glue off. So unfortunately, it looks like I didn't record my final application of Mickey Mouse, but you will see it and obviously you know how I did it. So the final picture will be with Mickey with all the glue completely removed from around the frame. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this piece. Thanks Aishu as always for inviting me to do these wonderful creative resin challenges.